Hi everyone, Friday night cheers time. Come on in, let's have a conversation and let's find out how this bottle here ended up on my desk as a result of a question and how you can use that technique within your business and get sharing your story, your marketing and how questions are actually really, really important to your business. So come along in, join me for a drink. It's Friday night cheers time. I'm just popping onto the computer, which is in front of me because I am sitting at my desk. If you can tell, there's all the background stuff behind me as I get ready to share this Friday night. Cheers with you all. So come along and join me. If you are here, pop in, pop your cheek, raise your glasses, say hi, let's go have a conversation because I am going to explain to you how this landed up on my desk and not wine when I walked into the bottle shop this evening because of the question, it's funny, when you want to do a presentation topic like this, how questions relate to what's going on. Hey, Cara, how are you? Hey, Kelly, how are you? Come on in and let's have a bit of a conversation regarding this one. I'm pretty excited actually about tonight because it was like really quite funky that um tonight has popped in and i've got a bottle of mercury sitting on my desk uh which just happens to tie in to tonight's theory and tonight's conversation about how questions and why they're important to your business and, and the actual power that a question has to your business so Let's go to the story first because we all want to know what the story is and why I'm drinking mercury and not a glass of wine tonight. Um, and that is because I was after school popping in. <laughs> next week we'll do like, yes, we, yeah. Hey guys, next week Kelly and I are going to be in Melbourne together. So she'll do Friday night cheers with me. Woohoo! Say, that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm taking some time off. There you go. No one really knew about it, but I'm going to be taking some time off. Um, but anyway, let's have a conversation about how this ended up. Um, you can cheers me with a cup of tea, Claire. That is absolutely fine. It's not required to have a drink in amongst all of this, but it is that little bit of Friday night celebration. But cheers me with a cup of tea. 250 days of no alcohol. Good luck with that one. That's going to be awesome. Um, okay. So the reason this bottle is on my desk tonight, it all comes into everything that we're sitting in. I had gone and got dinner. I was getting all the stuff at the supermarket to go get dinner. And I walked in to the bottle shop uh, to go and get a bottle of wine, preferably something sparkling and preferably something that was white um, <laughs> and cold and chilled was what I was looking for. And the lady is standing there with the mercury stand saying, hi, how are you? Would you like to try some of our cider tonight? And I was like, you know what? Wasn't thinking about cider, but now I am. So I tried some of the cider. It was a really nice cider. And in result of that, her asking me a question, I not only stopped and interacted with her, she got to know me. She asked me how my day was. She asked me, and I mentioned something about last time I drank cider was when I was 18. So we'd had a whole story and a conversation. And then I turned around and said, I think I might grab a, a packet of those. And she said, well, if I, if you do that I, and you think you're going to buy it, I'm going to throw you one in one for free. So this is how this particular mercury, which is my free mercury, so it tastes much, much, much nicer, landed on my desk tonight in relation to a question. So that ties us into tonight's topic and tonight's theme. And I've already spoken too much. So I'm going to take a quick sip and then I'm going to get into the rest of tonight's topic for you. So I hope everyone is having a really good night. And Cal, if you drink cider, this is really, really yummy. So I think we need to get some of that. Um, anyway, so that is how a question resulted into, into my drink of choice changing for tonight. So questions when it comes to your business have an amazing, amazing, amazing power in everything that you do. It has a power in relation to understanding your clients. It has a power in helping you engage. Um, there, there is a great sale with a great sale with a story. Yes, it really is a good one. And I do love my cider. This is really cool. So if any, I'll pop it up. It's a Mercury hard cider. It does have 1.9 drinks in it, so it's going to be uh, an interesting night. I don't want to drink too many of those, <laughs> or not too many of those before I finish work anyway. Um, okay, so when we talk about questions, we're talking about the power to engage, the power to understand, and the power to connect with people. And there is not too many things that you do that give you those three amazing things within one facility. So that's what we're looking at tonight. And the reason that we want to ask questions is because if we're looking at social media or we're looking at sales or we're looking at anything is we want to engage with people. And the lady who asked me, did I want to try the bottle of mercury tonight? Engage me. And then we had the conversation about whether I was 18. So she got, when I was drinking mercury, had I had it before? And when I drank it when I was 18, 
So then we had the conversation around my life. So she got to understand me and then I connected with her and she made the sale. So, you know, we're just in a bit of a nutshell. That is what happened in relation to, to that particular story. So when we're looking at questions for ourselves, that's exactly what it does for us. It gives us the opportunity to connect with our audience. It gives our opportunity to engage with them and it gives us a chance to be able to understand and it opens up a question, it opens a conversation, especially if you're using open-ended questions which I strongly, 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 strongly encourage you to do on social media. So in my Instagram live, Instagram TV piece today, I said, if you are on Facebook right now or you're on, uh, on Instagram or you're on Twitter, ask people what they got planned for the weekend. What are they doing for their Friday night? Engage with your audience by showing that you actually care about what the heck they're about to do for the weekend or are they working or how was their week or anything like that. By asking that, you're opening up a conversation that is going to just make you A, human to them and B, see you engage and start to develop a conversation. It's also going to allow you to understand them understand do they work weekends do they like to relax do they like to sit down with a glass of wine on Friday night or what do they want to do so it's going to open up all of those opportunities for you so that is just by asking questions um, and you know we're going to talk about asking questions all those sorts of things later on well first of all what I want to do is cover the answering questions component answering questions if you're looking to market your business answering a question is the great space to do it. You can do it that via Facebook groups, via groups like BBB, or if you're in a niche, jump into your niche groups and answer questions that people have. Don't sell, just answer the question. Provide the solution to the problem so that people get to know you and then develop a like for you and a trust for you. Um, so answering questions is a really big thing. The other places you can answer questions is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a full of questions. People in their status updates putting in questions and all those sorts of things. And then there is dedicated question forums, which I get quite a lot of traffic from and quite a lot of business from, like Quora, that are there dedicated for asking questions and getting answers and really these all these apps are available on your phone you can get in there answer and respond to those questions really really simply and really really easily at that point in time so answering questions is a huge power for your business because it develops the ability to show your expertise it develops the ability for you to be able to network with people and it opens you up to a whole realm of different people that are out there. So answering questions is a huge one. Another way to answer questions is something like I'm doing next um, in towards the end of August, which is the Marketing Questions Answered webinar, where you throw it up. And Cara, you do this incredibly well. Cara does a Q&A session inside her Facebook group on a regular basis as well, where you actually open up the floor and you ask people to ask you questions so you can answer them and you can show your expertise once again. So if you are doing questions, questions if you've got the opportunity to, to do an ask me anything or you know answer some people's questions then get in there and do it the ask linda you series i did on youtube which i've most probably let go a little bit of this year it was a huge one for bringing in people because i was asking those key questions so the other point the questions have to your marketing is in when you can answer them is actually go and look for the questions that people ask in groups like you or or facebook groups and record a response that you can continually give to them that you can put out on youtube that you can put out on facebook that you can put out in a facebook live because you can guarantee if someone in your market is asking you at once there is about 10 to 20 other people out there looking for that question okay so that's about answering questions for your marketing and how it really get in there. Hey, Em, how are you? Don't worry about being late. You'll catch up. You replays the head. There's a, there's a bit of a story about how this ended up on my desk <laughs> at the start. So we're, we're just covering more how questions can get involved within your marketing and area. So the other thing about questions in your business and the power within your business is to actually ask questions. And there's two reasons you want to ask questions and there's two ways that you really want to ask questions in your business. You want to ask questions from the point of view of, engaging with your clientele you want to ask questions so you can understand your clientele you want to ask questions so that you can understand maybe where you need to improve so you might like to survey people you might like to just ask questions in Facebook groups to get that engagement on social media so you get people in there knowing and liking and trusting you but you might want to also ask questions of your staff to understand what's going on within the business world and the business life okay so we need to ask questions so that we know what's going on within our business the other time that we need to ask questions within business is when we need to upskill, when we need to learn, when we need referrals, when we need all of those sorts of things. And that's why BBB was created along with a whole heap of other reasons. It was created so, to you had a group of people to be able to trust to ask questions from. So you need to ask questions. And I really want business owners to be understand and not be afraid of asking any question that they need to within their business journey. 
We all started somewhere. We all didn't know something and we all still don't know something. So believe me, if you've got a question to ask, do not ever feel like you're going to be silly for asking that question. Don't feel like you're going to be rejected for asking that question. Asking that question is going to help you grow and upskill and learn what you need to do. So we've covered questions from asking questions about, you know, getting to know your clients, engaging your clients, having that conversation with your clients. We've covered them from being able to understand what's happening in your business. Now, the other time that we need to ask questions is we need to learn. Okay, and as I said, we, we talk about them now about learning, but we need to learn about what's what's out there, what's going on, what what trends are happening within our business. And that's quite often when we need to survey our clients or when we need to survey our potential customers or when we maybe need to find out what's going on in our industry. So going to an industry event and asking questions for learning power. By, by learning, we give ourselves the knowledge to move forward. So by understanding what our clients are looking for next or by understanding what's happening in industry trends, we give our opportunity to be able to keep up and grow. So it's a really big key to business is, is the question. Um, so that's what I really wanted to cover, in particularly in tonight's Facebook Live, you know, Friday Night Cheers topic, is the power of questions. They do allow you to engage. Uh, you could just come and, <laughs> Joe said she just covered this in a Zoom meeting today, but this is a little bit more fun. I'm glad it's a little bit more fun. The biggest thing, guys, in amongst the, all of this is, is you need to cut and cut, no. You need to ask questions. I'm getting so tongue-tied. I've recorded uh, video, about 19 videos today, so my, my brain is starting to get a little bit fried on words. Um, the thing about questions is it allows you to do, engage. So it allows you to come back. It allows you to have that conversation with people. It allows you to understand, and that's where the learning component of questions comes in. It allows you to understand what your clients need from you, what your staff need from you, what your potential clients need from you, and even understand what you need to know within your business. And most of all, questions allow you to connect. They break down a bridge and open questions quite often open up that conversation that you wouldn't be able to have if you just said, hey, do you like cider? Or, you know, would you like to try our cider tonight was another one. Or how was your day? Or, you know, you, if you said to me, not even a question, if you just said to me, hey, there's some new mercury cider over there, I most probably would have ignored the lady tonight. But because she stopped, because she asked me how my day was and she asked me would I like to try their cider, I was engaged from the point. And I'm sitting here with a bottle of cider tonight instead of, a bottle of sparkling wine, which is what I went into the bottle shop for. So guys, there you go. There's the power of questions for your business. I hope you have an absolutely awesome week. I hope this Friday night cheers is giving you a little bit of a tip on something within your business. This one in particular just happened to fit in well and I love how the universe happens to bring me the story that matches my topic of the week. If you would like me to cover something in particular in Friday Night Cheers, please let me know and if you haven't seen it already, my Marketing Questions Answered webinar will run on August 31st and I'll pop the link in for that one. And we've got so many attendees, so many presenters here from the Small Business Skills Summit and attendees here from the Small Business Skills Summit. If you've not seen the Small Business Skills Summit and you've been hiding under a rock somewhere in relation to my Facebook page and Facebook Lives at moment uh the small business skills summit is on now there is just over 50 plus presenters they're sharing their knowledge and expertise and you get access to it for now and three months after the summit so i'm going to say cheers to everyone on for this friday night have a great week i'll pop the links into the summit the marketing questions answer workshop and i look forward to seeing you again next friday with the lovely kelly from melbourne bye